Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with this week's top stories. The RCMP, with the assistance of the Canadian Border Services Agency, executed a search warrant in Oliver Wednesday relating to the ongoing Alex Louis firearms investigation. Louis was arrested on February 1st after he was caught allegedly trying to cross the border with two guns wired to the bottom of his car. Wednesday morning, an RCMP emergency response team converged on a property on the Osoyoos Indian Band, blocking Sandpoint Drive. The details of the search warrant were not disclosed by police. Jacob Lowes, the man accused in a brazen August 2014 shootout in downtown Vernon, was in Supreme Court this week, facing charges of attempted murder, unlawfully to start discharging a firearm, and possessing a restricted firearm, among others. The court heard that the gunfight started with a hotel room robbery in the notorious Green Valley Hotel and spilled onto the streets. Lowe's trial will conti continue next week, and two others have been charged in the incident. A Kelowna dog owner says someone has attempted to poison his pooch after finding hot dogs scattered on his property that made his Staffordshire Bull Terrier throw up multiple times. Troy Gangle found the hot dogs in his driveway Monday, six weeks after first finding other hot dogs. Gangle took his dogs to the vet after it ate one of the hot dogs and began throwing up. He called the instances disturbing. An independent film began filming in downtown Kelowna this week, turning Bernard Avenue into a small, eerie northern Washington town. Film sets could be seen Tuesday outside Fernando's Pub and the BMO Bank of Montreal, as well as on Water Street outside Rod's Restaurant. Filming is set to wrap up on February 25th. A man was arrested near UBC Okanagan Thursday night after crashing his vehicle, leaving it on Highway 97 facing the wrong direction, and allegedly trying to run away from the scene. A witness said the man had been driving erratically before the crash and smelled like alcohol. The witness, along with another man, confronted the driver and placed him under citizen's arrest before the RCMP arrived and put him in handcuffs. The witness said it was lucky someone wasn't killed. That's all for Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson.